Assassin's Creed 2 is arguably one of the best Assassin's Creed games in the series. This game was made in the era before Ubisoft got overwhelmed with greed. This game demonstrates Ezio, a young and rich Italian soon to be assassin. Most of Ezio's family gets imprisoned. He climbs the prison to see his father to figure out what's going on. His father tells him to bring a paper to Uberto, which proves their innocence. Once at the hanging, Uberto says that there's no evidence that they're innocent and ends up hanging them. Ezio only has his sister and mother left, until he meets his uncle Mario, who brings Ezio back to his villa and trains him. Once he's ready, Ezio leaves the villa and goes on a path of revenge to kill the Templar, the people who are responsible for most of his family's death. In this game, one of the main gameplay features is its unique approach to combat. The game has a very simple but effective combat system. You can use a basic attack, counter enemies attacks, grab enemies, which gives you a completely different moveset, and you can even dodge attacks. Assassin's Creed 2 has amazing parkour. Climbing and jumping across rooftops, one of the staples of Assassin's Creed is the Leap of Faith, where the assassins jump from a high place into usually a haystack. Stealth is one of the biggest parts of the series, and this game, it's especially important. Avoiding detection in certain missions, you have to avoid being detected by hiding in haystacks, assassinating guards quietly, and staying out of sight. There's assassins tombs, and Templar layers. They're essentially parkour puzzles. Next up, the setting. This game is set in six different areas in Italy. These are Venice, the wetlands, the mountains, the villa, Florence, and Tuscany. Assassin's Creed 2 has many rivers in its areas. You can use rowboats to travel across it or swim. The game has many buildings and open areas. In the open areas outside of the city, you can ride horses to traverse the area. The streets always have people, which makes this game feel like it's alive in a way. I love how this game details the side characters. It makes it feel authentic. The combat is very simple, but feels so powerful. The parkour is easy, which makes it really satisfying. In my opinion, the stealth is very well done. I really like how accessible this game is. It's available on nearly every device except mobile. The game works on PC, it runs great on Switch, it's also available on PlayStation 3, 4, 5, Xbox 360, 1, and it's playable on Xbox Series X and S. I recommend playing every Assassin's Creed game with a controller. PC controls for this series are horrible. I've played this game with a GameCube controller and PS5 controller. Surprisingly, the GameCube controller was really nice to play with. All this footage has been from the PS5, but as you can see in this comparison, it also runs great on Nintendo Switch. For all these reasons, I'll give this game A tier. Thanks for watching this game review. If you would like to see more, you can go in the description. There will be a link to a playlist with every review from me and my friend Moonfinek. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe.